Hey guys, it's Dwight. We are doing a day trip today from Denver, Colorado up to the Keystone area to do some wheeling, some hiking, fishing, and even a cold plunge at a beautiful Alpine Lake. And I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of share some of the mods and essential gear that you should bring, whether you're overlanding, off-roading, or just doing a quick day trip like this with a little bit of everything involved. We've got the kids with us, we've got some fishing poles, and we are prepared to do some wheeling as well. And let's go have some fun. Cool, so we've got all of our recovery gear put up in one of these gear pods here. All of it's Morflate, every single bit of it. This is the brand new air hub here. And with just this and this quad hose, it's gonna make airing down super simple. If you wanna set it and forget it, this is the thing you need right here. And I've actually never even used it before, so you're gonna see firsthand its first use in real life. All right, so your quad hose has a digital pressure gauge on one end, and then there's two sides that split off, and each one of those sides has a splitter that goes to one set of tires and then the next. There we go. See how the air hub works to deflate. Open slide valve with no air source connected. Okay, let's power it on. We're gonna set the air pressure to where we want it. We'll just go to 15, it's nothing gnarly. So it is set. There we go, there we go, now we got it. All right, so first time use, it's that easy. So now, we don't have to sit here and monitor where our pressure is, we can just, uh, not pay attention, have some fun, and this thing will stop automatically when you air down. Pretty sweet. So perfect example, I start airing down and we run into Joel at the trailhead. And so I was out having a conversation. If I wasn't paying attention, I'd air down to zero because we were chatting. That's the bug, we compressor back in, fill him back up. What do you know? <laughs> I love it. All right, success. First time using it and it proved why it is valuable immediately. We didn't plan on running into Joel at the trailhead and that conversation uh, could have taken a lot longer because we would have had to air back up if we went all the way down. So, I love it. Thank you, Morflane. Here we go. Pretty narrow entrance. This build of this 24 Tacoma that we're in is kind of the quintessential Colorado build. It's a Swiss Army knife style build where it's pretty good at several things but it may not be the best at everything. So this thing can crawl some rocks and it's still convenient as a daily driver. For much like a good Swiss Army knife, it will be tailored to whatever adventure you're going on. You will see on this trail, you know, there's some stuff where you're putting your undercarriage at risk. Rock sliders are the number one thing you should have. Good set of rock sliders will be able to handle the entire weight of the truck on one rock slider. That's gonna protect your rocker panels. It's gonna protect your doors. It'll even protect your wheels if it has a kick out on them. And you can use them as a step to get up to your roof rack or your rooftop tent, and access things up high. We'll probably scratch these up a little bit today and that's just fine. That's what they're for. Another big thing you'll wanna consider if you're going on any sort of off-road adventures is upgrading your tires. It's really all about ground clearance. Ground clearance comes mostly from tires. If you're not running portals, you're only going to get ground clearance from having larger tires. You can put a lift on your truck, but without bigger tires, you're not gaining that much more ground clearance. This 24 Tacoma, it comes stock with 285 7017s, which is a 33 inch tire. And we went ahead and put 35s on here. These are 35 1050 17s. So it's a little bit skinnier than we would normally go because I wanted to keep this as more of a really daily driver friendly vehicle that's more capable off-road. When we air down, there's plenty of surface area on the ground anyways for this build. Well, no matter what truck you have, how are you gonna fit bigger tires? The number one thing is upgrading your suspension. Upgrading your suspension is more than just about fitting tires. It's about your ride quality and the amount of wheel travel that you have as well. The more wheel travel, the more capable your vehicle is going to be when it's crawling rocks and encountering obstacles where you want more of your tire on the ground. Also, ride quality in general. 
We're running Kings on this truck right now, but even if you just go to Bilstein 6112s and 5160s with a lift kit, you're gonna have better ride quality on road and off road. It's just a much more enjoyable experience. Hey, real quick, if you want to break down on this build and what it costs to do everything, we have a video that we'll link below that gives a full cost breakdown, including labor and tax. So check that out. It's the 24 Tacoma build breakdown if you're interested in all of the pricing for every one of these mods. Storage is always a huge consideration to take when you're going on off-road adventures. This build here has my favorite bed rack by far the Lightner Designs bed rack with the active cargo system. And this is the forged version. It's a little bit more expensive than the two, but it looks a lot better. It's a lot stronger for sure. These have modular things that you can put on the sides. This is patented by Lightner Designs. And they have these cargo boxes that are extremely convenient because they don't really take up your bed space at all, but you can store whatever you're bringing with you to make your adventure more comfortable and efficient. It's really a must to have a bed rack or some sort of storage option, especially for your recovery gear, and especially if you've got four people in your vehicle on the way to the trail or whatever adventure you're doing. We're not staying overnight tonight, but we do have a rooftop tent here. Once you sleep in a rooftop tent or a canopy camper, you just don't go back to the ground. I have gone back to the ground and it's like, not nearly as comfortable, it's not nearly as convenient. Companies like FSR, you can't go wrong. This is the Evo V2 and it's extremely comfortable. It's completely dark when you wake up in the morning so the sun's not gonna wake you up right at six. You can sleep in a little bit and having a good rooftop tent is just essential. I said that 14 different times, 14 different ways, but you get the point. This right here is why we say we don't just build trucks, we unlock adventures. We just made it to the top of this mountain with an alpine lake, and it doesn't get much better than this. We got the kids out here trying to catch some cutthroats, and I'm sure one of them's gonna grab one after all. Money back guarantee when you come on a day trip like this. It was epic. The wheeling was perfect. Nothing dangerous, nothing that's gonna break your truck. Beautiful hike the whole way. Fishing was superb. Got some cutthroat. We saw mountain goats. We just really, you can't ask for more up here. Super scenic and Toyota that's fully built really helps unlock these adventures that we like to take. Colorado has so many of them to offer too. We only drove about an hour and 10 minutes to get here. It took us about an hour and 30 to hike up to the lake. Perfect day trip, sun's starting to go down. The kids are on cloud nine. They had a blast and to be honest, that's what it's all about. Can't ask for more as a father really. And my cup's full too. Oh, the cold plunge, I feel good. We all got in and cold plunged it up there too. The water's like 40 degrees, it's all snow melt. You feel like you slept for an entire night when you do a proper cold plunge. Right when you get out, it's like the most refreshing thing ever. And there's a lot of health benefits to it, obviously. It's like super in right now, so. But it's real, there's a reason why everybody loves cold plunges. And we're gonna do more adventure style videos as we keep cranking through them, but if you ever need anything on your Toyota build, which is how we actually make our money, hit us up. Be sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a whole bunch of videos on the channel that date back all the way to the beginning. 
we're starting to hit our groove a little bit i think so give us a sub let us know what you think of these types of videos that we're doing and uh if you want to call me chubby and bald helps the algorithm please do that'd be fantastic but until next time enjoy <laughs>